This is one of my favorite uh, machining projects that I've done. It's called a fire eater engine. You just put fire in at this end and get it going. And the exchange of hot gases will make the engine run continuously. Most of this has been CNC'd, uh, but a couple of these parts are also manual. It will run off of alcohol really well, but I'm also using diesel fuel or kerosene. It just doesn't burn quite as clean and it leaves some black residue. Anyway, I'll just dip it in, get a little bit of the fuel on the cotton wick and light it. And I just get the flywheel going and it should start up. but this acetylene I found works great. Here's the piston that goes inside the cylinder. I like to take it out occasionally to clean out any, anything that's built up inside the cylinder. But um, it is a pretty tight fit in here. It's very smooth, but it's also um, tight tolerance. If I close the valve in the back here, mm -hmm. I can feel resistance mm -hmm. when I try to move it back and forth. But as soon as I open it, it comes freely in and out again. Um, so it's, I believe it's within about half a thousandth of an inch. Um, between the cylinder and the piston. When building this fire eater engine, um, one of the biggest challenges was getting it loose enough that it would spin without a lot of friction. Uh, there's friction between all the pieces, so you have to have clearance enough. Um, I was having problems with the spring tension being too much. So everything has to run extremely smoothly and in time for this to work. Here's another engine that I've made um, this one is a lot less precise. It is a compressed air engine, so it does not run off of heat. Um, you just put compressed air or steam here into the valve, and then it actuates with a cam. And it really did not take as much precision as this one. Um, I built it and it worked um, just about the first time. It didn't have to do as much tinkering and adjusting to get it just perfect. It's, this one is bigger and it outputs more power, um, more reliable, but I like this one. It's sort of a show model. It's cool that you don't need a whole air compressor set up in order to run it. It's just a little flame. This is another compressed air engine that I'm working on. Not very far along yet, but this is the main body of the engine block and it works most similarly to uh, this one doesn't use fire, it uses the compressed air. Um, but instead of having one big cylinder, it's got eight little ones. And definitely won't be able to match the power and speed that this outputs, but um, I think it'll be more like a show model, um, having all eight pistons actuating at once. Air would come in um, and out these two, um, these two holes all the way through and distribute with, with rotating um, sort of valve shafts, uh, distributing the air into each cylinder when needed. Something I noticed while putting this engine together um, was that if I take off some of these pieces and cover the hole in the back with my finger um, and then feed the piston in here, in and out, it sounds a whole lot like a bird. 